situation because there's you know a tiny closet and there's one tiny other little closet in the living room I don't know if you can see it was funny because we were waiting for the leasing agent to come let us into the building we were downstairs you know ringing the buzzer and I like look over and there's this half-naked man mannequin with these like tiny little man panties is that a like sex shop right next door and Ryan was like oh my god yeah it is it's weird when you go to West Village you'll see a lot of little like funky places like that where there's just some really interesting things but um it was up on the top floor it was quite a hike going up five flights of stairs I don't know if I'd be willing to do that every day I did that before when I lived um, downtown and it was pain in the ass when you got you know six bags of groceries but we love the apartment you know, it was updated, there was a cute little wine fridge, and there was lots of natural light coming in, and I'm such a sucker for a brick wall, and this had a brick wall in the living room and in the bedroom, so I was like, oh my god, my brick wall dreams are coming true. Ryan and I forgot the camera, so it's iPhone video, I hope it's good quality, I haven't uploaded it yet. I don't know, I think maybe the iPhone video makes it look a little smaller, but it was actually quite a big, like, living room space. You might could actually fit a dining room. Maybe. I think there could have been a dining room table somewhere in that area, maybe pushed in the corner somewhere. Oh, there was a washer and dryer inside the unit. Let me tell you though, um, you cannot open the dryer and the dishwasher at the same time because they will collide. <laughs> Only in New York, right? I remember my last apartment, like the kitchen, the laundry room, and the bathroom was all in the same like room area, so you know, you just kind of get used to stuff like that uh, after a while, but we loved it, obviously. Uh, we were actually thinking about maybe moving forward with this one, but unfortunately it got leased like a week after, you know, we went and saw it. This one wasn't meant to be, and that's totally fine. You know, what happens, happens, and we are going to keep looking. I'm hungry. Hopefully we're wrapping up this whole apartment search soon because I need to start looking for furniture and other things that you feel like you need to buy when you move, like plates. Like I have, I have plates, but you know, since I'm moving, I feel like I need new plates. Yeah, I just love new things. Yeah, I'm all about like looking for new home stuff. So if you have any um, suggestions on where to buy you know, like sofas and beds and little like knick-knacky decorative things. Let me know. I'm currently obsessed with dotandbow.com. I found it the other day and I literally have like a million things in my wish list. <laughs> so um, it's a great website. So if you haven't checked that out, check it out. It's really cool. But um, let me know if you have any um, cute little websites that you know of so I can go spend money on things I don't need. Okay. Hi. It almost fits a whole me. A whole you? If I'm 5'3", what does that make this apartment? At least 5'4". Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what? What is that smell? 